Let's begin with the actual definition of Machiavellianism, which is a personality trait that displays behaviors of manipulation, power, and charm. It is part of the dark triad, which also includes psychopathy and narcissism. It is known to show up more in men than women, and it can wane as the person gets older. The term originally dates all the way back to the 16th century, when it was used to describe political powers. This trait focuses on belittling others and limiting their knowledge or power so that person can benefit more than anyone else. It was not considered a part of psychology until the 70s, when two psychologists created the Machiavellianism scale. And since then, the Mach 4 test has been used to test patients who may suffer from it. This video can help with finding and detecting signs of Machiavellianism. So sit back and watch this video to the very end. You may be surprised at all the new things you will learn about Machiavellianism. Number 1. Their ambitions lie in the wrong areas. Machiavellians usually have an end goal of power and wealth. They thrive and live for control over others. It is usually not to be admired or adored, but to gain power over many people and wealth that can create more power. Machiavellians, usually from a young adult age, show ambitions for control and power while other people their age have ambitions for a nice job or car. They show early stages of manipulation and have a tendency to try to control their friends into agreeing with their ideals. They show ambition for politics as well. People associate politics with money and power. Machiavellians at a young age show ambition in being involved in school-related politics to begin their journey. They try to influence students to follow their lead and begin their career in power. Many Machiavellians see that their power can be used in any way they want and don't see the good they can do with it. They also show ambition for control in the work environment. They want to be the CEO from the first day instead of focusing on the work they need to learn right then and there. Number two, they are cut off from their emotions. One way to recognize a Machiavellian is to look for a person who is almost all of the way detached from their emotions. Machiavellians have a tendency not to be able to express all of their emotions since they can easily become emotionally detached from a situation. They can usually find pleasure in other people's pain. They will not usually cry or appear upset in a tragic event or death. They can fake emotions if they learn how to react from others, but many Machiavellians do not take the time to do that. This can also manifest in relationships. Machiavellians can have problems forming and keeping intimate relationships, work relationships, and relationships with friends and family. Because they are unable to understand and form these emotional bonds, many Machiavellians are considered antisocial and choose a more solitary life in regards to close relationships. They would rather form these bonds with people that can benefit them in the long run. That can mean that they search for people who have a tendency to follow crowds and leaders. Once they gain the trust of someone and use them to their extent, they will usually betray that trust and not show any remorse for their wrongdoing. It is even said that they are not in connection with their own emotions and can't fully understand why they feel certain ways and how to control it. Because of their lack of emotional connection within themselves, they can lack the empathy not to hurt someone else. Number three, they are unaware of the consequences of their actions. Many people who are considered Machiavellians do not think of or are unaware of the consequences that can come with their actions. When using someone or misleading a crowd to get them to follow their ideals, the Machiavellian does not understand that there could be negative consequences. They usually simply do not care or like to pretend like it doesn't exist for them. Machiavellians usually like to pretend they have the whole world to themselves and they rule it all. Verbal abuse and bullying is another thing they don't think will have a reaction. Verbally abusing someone or bullying someone to get what they want is simply a way to get what they want, and they don't see anything wrong with doing that. They are unaware of any laws stopping them from doing what they want. This can be dangerous simply due to the fact that they feel they can do whatever they want to anyone. Without limits, there could be chaos, and Machiavellians live for chaos. When chaos arises, then people need someone to lead them away from that, and that is when Machiavellians step in and fix things in the beginning. By the way, make sure to subscribe if you've learned something new today. Number 4. They appear charming. We know what you're thinking. How is being charming a bad quality? That can't be true. Well, you're right, to a certain extent. With our significant other or our closest friends, they usually attract you with their charm even if they do not say everything perfectly. 
They are not perfect beings, and that is what makes them, well, them. They will sometimes say things you don't like or agree with, and that's okay. That is also the difference between them and a Machiavellian. A Machiavellian will say anything you want to hear all the time to gain your trust and closeness. They will never say the wrong thing and will usually bring up topics to make you feel important. It is important to look out for people that seem to know you right away more than you know yourself. Many times a Machiavellian will research the person they intend on pursuing and make sure to say things they know that will gain their trust. This happens more often than people believe. They can tell the person that the Machiavellian has no intentions for a true personal relationship. It has even been said that some people believe that a Machiavellian can read minds because of their amazing ability to socialize and say everything that a person wants to hear. Number five, they are experts at manipulation. People who suffer from Machiavellianism, just like narcissists, use manipulation to get what they want. The difference in the manipulation is the end goal. Machiavellians use manipulation to gain power over a person or group of people to get political or some other type of power. Machiavellians have been known to use their charm to gain the trust of others, but can later resort to bullying and verbal abuse when they have their victims reeled in. Machiavellians can hide behind their allies and use another person as a puppet to do their work for them. They just want the money, power, and glory at the end. They attempt to manipulate others to not follow someone else's way of life because they don't want to lose control over anyone. Their manipulation tactics are not usually limited and they will hurt many others to get what they want. They believe that if they manipulate enough people, they will gain a big enough following to gain power over crowds. Machiavellians are great at socializing and use social manipulation to gain more power. They are very aware of what people like to hear and what they need to trust others to follow their lead. They believe in the idea that if they tell enough people what they want to hear, they will believe that Machiavellian cares. People believe this is the most dangerous trait because Machiavellians will stomp on whoever they want verbally. They will also smooth talk everyone else to make sure they end up on top. It isn't for admiration or to show how amazing they are. They are only in it to gain personal wealth. Number six, they're extremely competitive. One of the best ways to tell if you are dealing with a Machiavellian is how competitive they can get. Machiavellians are very competitive rather than team players. Now we know that many people can be considered super competitive, but these people do not compete in sports or competitions to prove they are the best and to be admired. This can go for work or for running for a higher position. They are so competitive, they don't care who they hurt in the process. This competitive attitude can tie into their manipulation tactics and charm. They charm whoever they can to gain a bigger following. If they have to step on the toes of their best coworkers, they will. If they have to hurt many people in the process, they show zero remorse. It can be hard to go up against a Machiavellian because their lack of remorse and their ambition can be dangerous. They take criticism really well if they know the advice will help them become better in the future. Number seven, they hide behind other people's power. If you see a person of power making a lot of bad and big decisions, there is almost a guarantee they have a Machiavellian standing behind them making that decision for them. Many times a Machiavellian will stay in the shadows and influence someone else of power to make these decisions that don't benefit anyone else but them. They are very manipulative and influential, so that can help create that relationship they need with the puppet. They convince the person in power how much needs to change and convince them that their way is the best way. This can take time and patience, which Machiavellians have a lot of. Many people in power have a sidekick coaching them on what they should and shouldn't say. And many times that person you see next to them is guiding them in a terrible way. Machiavellians don't have to be the center of attention. They just have to know that they are in charge, secretly or in the public eye. And if you liked this video, then check out these related videos to see more. And make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed. And we will personally reply to your comment.